Hello guys welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see extraction of silk from silk cocoons. These are silkworms, they make silk cocoons around themselves during their pupal stage. These cocoons act as protective covering during their pupal stage. These cocoons are made up of two types of protein fibers. One is fibroin and another one is saracen. This process is called as stifling. Stifling is the process in which we dry cocoons in hot air oven to remove moisture from cocoons and it also kills pupa in cocoons. This step is quite important because it stops growth of pupa inside the cocoon. We want loose ends of silk threads for extraction of continuous threads that's why we need to degumming process which we are watching currently. As we know cocoons are made up of two types of proteins. Saracen and fibroin. Saracen act as a binding material in between two threads of silk. Whereas fibroin is an actual silk thread. During degumming process, saracen get dissolved in water and we get loose end of silk threads. After degumming we can reel silk easily. Then we need to transfer those cocoons to reeling machine for further process. To extract silk, they add cocoons in bunch of five. Then silk get reeled on bobbins. After removal of silk from cocoons, they remove leftover cocoons and pupa. Those pupa used as pollutory feet, that's why this dead pupas are also known as brown gold. Here bobbins are placed in vacuum steamer to remove air bubbles from silk thread bundles.
When air bubbles removed completely they transfer bobbins to make big bundles of silk threads. This process demands skillful and experienced personal. For joining two different silk threads they tie this special knot. This is our final product and it is ready to store and transport for marketing.